These are pictures from a website that's called thispersondoesnotexist.com. None of these people here are real. All of them were generated by a neural network using a new technique called GAN. And it's fake pictures like these, along with fake video and fake audio, that represent a new type of cyber threat to American businesses. Now, the Bureau said this is going to cause very significant financial and reputational impacts to victim businesses. And all of it means the cyber threats of the next couple of years are going to make today's spear phishing emails and business frauds look quaint by comparison. Welcome back to another Cyber Awareness Moment. We are continuing with this deep fake playlist. So remember to uh, watch all the videos on this playlist. And if you're getting value out of every single thing that we're sharing, make sure to subscribe and give us a like because that will help us spread this message. Today, we're going to be talking about the top five list of artificial intelligence enabled crimes, which funny enough, three of them have to do with deep fakes. So Frank, what are the five top artificial intelligence enabled crimes? So the top five is uh, number one, deep fake, uh, either audio or video, as we've been talking about, uh, is created to impersonate an executive at the company or the company itself. And that is the number one use of artificial intelligence enabling crimes is the deep fake threat. Now, number two is a little bit different, Ernesto, and it's the unmanned vehicle assault. It's, it's how it, it actually would probably be a homeland security issue because uh, people can use unmanned vehicles to commit crime against a company or a state. Wow. So that's just number two. But then it comes back to number three, it comes back to the identity theft again. And it's, and it's spear phishing on a higher level. Now, in previous videos, we talk about phishing where they can do a broadcast of 10,000, 100,000, a million people at one time, or they can go online and research somebody and try to find out who they are and what department they're in, and particularly go after that one new employee. But now with artificial intelligence and deep fake, it's a totally different ballgame. They use an artificial intelligence now to gather incredible amounts of information particularly Ernesto, to put corporate executives, the decision makers, in compromising positions with the spear phishing attacks. So if they get hit with something like ransomware, yeah. now they also, because they used all the artificial intelligence, gathering all the information on all platforms, now they have some leverage against the executives. If you are in the public eye as a business leader, you presumably have content out there on the internet of you either delivering a speech, talking to your employees on an earnings call. That is all training data, which can be used to basically create AI to hijack your biometrics. So that puts you in a really vulnerable position. And she says the pandemic work from home world with all of its Zoom and Teams video meetings makes us all more vulnerable than we've ever been before. And then when we get down into the fourth one, it's a tax on artificial intelligence enabled systems. So it might be a utility company or a water company or something like that. And they're using artificial intelligence to fight artificial intelligence. But then number five, it all comes back around. And it's blackmail. It's artificial intelligence to come back with the blackmail, as we talked about in number three, where they're gathering all of the information to come back against the corporations. If they're publicly traded, they're probably going to have their stock attacked. If they're private, they're probably going to come after and go after their, their core competencies. They're going to go after uh, maybe new product launches because they got the artificial intelligence. They started to get the inside track on companies. Uh, it could be disgruntled employees that have leveraged the company. But those are the top five. And it's interesting that three of those top five all involve impersonation and identity theft on a personal and a corporate level. So there you go. I think all this information, it's super important for everybody to know, whether you're a small shop 
or a big organization, your mm -hmm. employees and yourself need to be aware about everything which is happening with artificial intelligence and cybercrime, and especially with deep fakes. That's why we are providing for you free of charge a number of different trainings. They could be online or they could be also in person, and you could get them once again completely free of charge. And you can just get in touch with us on the number, which is just right now appearing on the screen. Yeah. And if you're finding value in all these videos, please make sure to give us a comment. Make sure to either give us a like and even the best it would be to subscribe so that you know what's happening. And please make yeah. sure to watch the rest of the videos on this series. Is that companies should train employees to be critical without being cynical about every image they see online. Because these days, Shep, seeing may not any longer be believing.